Let's see some objective questions regarding simple stresses and strains in the subject strength of material. Question number one is Structural members are generally designed so as to remain in fill in the blank conditions under the action of working loads. The given options are A. Elastic B. Plastic C. Rigid D. Rigid plastic The correct answer is option A. Elastic the structural members are generally designed so as to remain in elastic conditions under the action of working loads. Question number 2 is A material will offer resistance against its deformation due to external forces by virtue of its Option A. Toughness B. Hardness C. Strength D. Elasticity The correct answer is Option C. Strength By virtue of strength, a material offers Resistance against its deformation under action of external forces. Question number 3. Force that raises the deformation of a body is called as Option A. Strength B. Stress C. Load D. None of the above The correct answer is Option B. Stress Force that raises the deformation of a body is called as stress. Question number 4. Ratio of change in dimension and original dimension is known as Option A. Tensile strength B. Compressive strength C. Longitudinal strength D. Strength The correct answer is Option D. Strength Strength is the ratio of change in dimension to original dimension. Question number 5. When tangential forces act on a body to cause its failure, the failure is called Option A. Deformation B. Strength failure C. Shear failure D. None of the above The correct answer is Option C. Shear failure When tangential forces act on a body to cause its failure, the failure is shear failure. Question number 6. Shear strain is defined as the ratio of Option A. Transverse displacement to the distance from the lower plane B. Shear area to shear resistance Option C. Change in dimension of upper layer to change in dimension of lower layer. Option D. Change in dimension of upper layer to original dimension of upper layer. The correct answer is Option A. Shear strain is defined as the ratio of transverse displacement to the distance from the lower plane. Question number 7. Within a certain limit after the removal of load, body regains its original dimension. The limit is known as Option A. Shrinkage limit B. Elastic limit C. Deformation limit D. Plastic limit The correct answer is Option B. Elastic limit Within a certain limit, after the removal of load, body regains its original dimension. The limit is elastic limit. Question number 8. Within elastic limit, the ratio of intensity of stress and strain is Option A. 1 B. Constant C. Less than 1 D. More than 1 The correct answer is option B. Within elastic limit, the ratio of intensity of stress and strain is constant. Question number 9. Ratio of axial stress to axial strain is known as Option A. Young's modulus B. Bulk modulus C. Modulus of rigidity D. All of the above the correct answer is option A. Young's modulus. Young's modulus is the ratio of actual stress to actual strain. Question number 10. If P is load, A is cross sectional area, L is length of member, and E is modulus of elasticity, then change in length of member that is DL is given by option A. DL is equal to product of load, length, and cross sectional area divided by modulus of elasticity. Option B. Product of load and cross sectional area divided by product of modulus of elasticity and length. Option C. Product of load and length divided by product of cross sectional area and modulus of elasticity. Option D. DL is equal to product of load, length and modulus of elasticity divided by cross sectional area. The correct answer is Option C. DL is equal to product of load and length divided by product of cross-sectional area and Young's modulus that is 
dl is equal to pl divided by ae question number 11 product of cross sectional area a and young's modulus e is known as option a axial elasticity b axial rigidity c elastic limit d elastic constant for axial straining the correct answer is option b axial rigidity product of cross sectional area a and young's modulus e is known as axial rigidity question number 12 choose the incorrect statement from the following statement a body regains its original dimension after load removal within elastic limit option b change in length determined using dl is equal to pl by e is same for both prismatic bars and tapered bars statement c young's modulus is also known as modulus of elasticity option d none of the above the correct answer is option b the incorrect statement above all the four option is option b which is change in length determined by using dl is equal to pl by a is same for both prismatic bar and tapered bar which is incorrect question 13 in a tapered bar with side angles 20 degree stress determined in any cross section of that bar is option a half that of actual stress b twice that of prismatic bar of same length at any cross section c 75 percent that of prismatic bar of same length at any cross section option d 3 percent less than the actual stress the correct answer is option d in a tapered bar with side angles 20 degree stress determined in any cross section of that bar is 3 percent less than the actual stress question 14 modulus of rigidity or shear modulus is denoted by option a c option b n option c g option d all of the above the correct answer is option d all of the above modulus of rigidity or shear modulus can be denoted by any letter which is c or n or g thank you for watching for more such videos on civil engineering subjects please subscribe simplified learning